What's really unique is the software that controls the arm because that someone would have to develop from scratch. Like someone could just take the surgery that guides a robot and just copy it because it's just like an, an iPhone app, right? I can just look at it and see how it works and then I can figure out, oh, well, I'll just make mine do that. Controlling the arm is like under the hood. Like you don't know what the special sauce is. It's just we figured it out and like they won't be able to copy it. That's really the value we add. Monogram Orthopedics is a medical technology company in the orthopedic space. And what we're developing is a next generation 3D printed implant that is optimized for press fit fixation and insertion with a state of the art orthopedic robot. There are really four companies in the space that dominate the market opportunity. They account for 76% of the market. And none of those four players have a robot that is using a CT based planning approach to actively mill cavities. So literally, we can safely say that nobody in the market that has a significant market position is doing what Monogram is proposing to do today. I do about 400, maybe 500 joints a year, and I've seen every possible complication. I've seen every bad outcome. You know, as I see the world changing around us, and you look at the way we do joint replacement surgery, it's pretty much the same way that we've been doing it for, for 40 or 50 years. There are technologies that are maturing in what we call the fourth industrial revolution that can really change the way that we do orthopedic surgery. Dr. Yunus realized that the way implants were designed was inherently flawed. We have to redo around 10% of all knee replacements that are done every year and around 15% of all hip replacements that are done every year. You know, we're using metal hammers and saws and we're eyeballing a lot of stuff in the operating room and it's just not very accurate. There's a kind of inherent problem in some of the implants. You know, they're, they're really one size fits none, geometric shapes that aren't really designed to fit any one particular patient. So the monogram workflow is actually very simple. A patient goes in and gets a CT scan, and that CT scan is used to generate a patient-optimized implant. And by patient-optimized, all we're doing is we're designing an implant that is designed for more stability, but is less invasive. So when you look at orthopedics, it used to be that almost all implants were cemented in. Today, when you look at hips, 97% of hips are uncemented. That means that they rely on natural biologic fixation. Monogram has essentially designed an implant that is perfected for uncemented natural biologic fixation. It turns out that there's a ton of technology in this simple bone to implant interface. We're talking about a whole new type of fixation that just has not been done or thought of or conceived before. What's really interesting about patient-specific implants using 3D printing is you can take CT or MRI data and use that to directly create an implant that would match a patient's anatomy perfectly. Monogram has tested our implant at leading orthopedic laboratories, and what we found is that our implant against leading generic equivalents is much more stable in a much less invasive form factor. You need to have both sides of the equation. You need to have the implant that's custom, but also the bone preparation that is custom, and that's where the robot comes in. The robot is capable of creating a custom bed or a custom cavity in the patient's bone that really snugly and securely fits that custom implant. But putting it all together in the right platform has allowed us to redesign implants and rethink implants in a way that really has not been done before. My name is Sharif Ali and I'm the Vice President of Engineering at Monogram Orthopedics. Having worked at NACO Surgical for 13 years developing surgical robotics, I'm very familiar with their system and its limitations. So I've seen firsthand what happens when large orthopedic companies try to develop and innovate new technology. They're just not built for innovating in the field of surgical robotics, but what Monogram is developing will take robotics to the next level. I believe the regulatory pathway that Monogram is pursuing is relatively straightforward and will not require any clinical studies. Monogram has been highly strategic about how we're segmenting the development. For the first phase, we're actually commercializing what we call kind of patient-specific light. Or it's actually much closer to a generic implant with a peripheral fixation paradigm that will be inserted manually. 
What that means is that we're going to partner with an established company that already has components that we don't need to innovate right out of the gate. We're going to link those up with a monogram implant system. It's going to save us a lot of costs and accelerate our time to market. So we expect to be able to generate revenue before we have a commercialized robotic system. And we expect that, that product solution will actually be highly differentiated and very compelling. And we are already talking to surgeons about how they can adopt the technology and use it and how we can generate revenue very quickly. Surgeons are in. You show a surgeon a platform that can eliminate bad outcomes and complications, you show them that, they're in. The way it works with Seedinvest is once you hit their escrow target, you have access to the capital that's been raised. So right now, we're running at 100 miles an hour to develop this technology, and that just wouldn't, in our opinion, have been possible with traditional venture capital. We, we don't think we would have been able to recruit the team in the way we wanted to, to get this done on the time frame we wanted to. So when we look at the, the intellectual property landscape, what we see is that it's open for us because nobody's really looked at implant design like we're able to look at it because nobody's combined all these things. So, so when we file IP on our knee design, like there's nothing else like it. What we're able to do is build essentially a moat of IP around what we're doing because it's such a fertile, fertile field. We looked at Monogram and we see an opportunity for something that's really not been done in the field to date. We believe that this is a when, not if opportunity. We believe that this is the future. And so time to market is critical to our success. What Monogram is bringing is the inevitable future of orthopedics. This, it has to go this way. The ideal Monogram investor is somebody who realizes that technology can be used to make a difference in patient outcomes. And we really firmly believe that that's in the DNA of our culture. It's how we're running our company. It's the ethic and ethos of our business. And we really believe that we can lower costs and improve patient outcomes.